If you've known me for a while, you'd know I used to go by the name Baby JJ. That's the name I used to gain a following over on Twitter. I used to dress up as a baby because at the time it felt right. I never really understood what I was doing, it just felt like a part of me. I went through many different conclusions as to what and who I was long before I came out as trans or non-binary, or even asexual, or any of the terms I now use. For a while I called myself an adult baby because that's the label that was placed on me when I started posting photos online in my baby get-up. Later I would distance myself from the ABDL adult baby diaper lover community because it didn't feel right, it didn't feel it was who I was. Of course I still love and respect all my ABDL friends I met on my journey but it just isn't who I was. Later I would use the term age regressor and this is a term I still believe fits me to this day. However, I've come to truly understand what I was doing. I was doing drag. I always used to think drag was all about makeup and performance, and for many it is, but at its heart, it's expression. What I was doing was expressing myself through a character, and that character was Baby JJ. I will forever be grateful to Baby JJ. They gave me my name after all, but being Baby JJ was a miserable time in my life. Not because I loved expressing myself, but because no one was perceiving me how I wanted to be perceived. What I did was passed off as a fetish. I was constantly sexualized by strangers online and by partners in real life, and it made me miserable. Eventually, I began playing on it. I turned my character into an innuendo-producing machine to make them happy. Through this, I also started sex work. I had several clients who would pay me to perform in what was essentially drag. But the shows I performed were private and involved me doing things I was not comfortable with. My fun little persona became an addiction. I began meeting clients, getting paid and then using that money to purchase more pacifiers and baby paraphernalia to dress myself up with. I spent a lot of money on that stuff. I always looked good and I always felt good so it was worth it. But the problem was the more attention I got the more money I got and the more I couldn't stop myself. Art should never be in control of your life, and my art, my expression, became the controlling factor of my life. I wasn't in control of baby JJ anymore, and that's when I knew I had to hang up the pacifier. I don't regret anything I did as baby JJ. I wouldn't be who I am now without them. In fact, I want to wake them up from their nap someday and do things properly, be open about the fact I'm doing drag, help spread the message of what drag is and can be, and elevate my character to be even better to be an even better beacon of light, which is what I was always intending it to be. My journey is not over and I hope to share it with you and I hope you'll embrace it with me. I have always been a baby inside, a baby that longs to be free. And when the time is right and I have control, that's when baby JJ will return. Thank you for supporting me and until next time, I wish you bore da, or nozda, wherever you are in the world. Bye. (laughs)